Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the LG G3, LG's new flagship phone for 2014. A big thank you must go out to Clove Technology for supplying me this. You can find their website address in the video description. Please do check them out. So a shimmering, glittery box for the LG G3. And if we look on the side, you can see the branding on the side as well. This nice sort of sliced wedge design. And then round on the back, we have got some of the features. This has got a 5.5 inch quad HD display, very high resolution display. This has got the same resolution as my 27 inch Apple Thunderbolt display. It's got a Snapdragon 801 processor, one watt speaker with booster amplifier, 13 megapixel camera on the back with laser autofocus and a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So let's slice the seal and get into the LG G3 for the first time. This is a tough seal for such a big knife. There we go. So let's have a look. Now this is gonna have a really large display. Such a contrast from my iPhone 5S. There we go. This is it. So as you can see, some of the specifications detailed on the front again, a little pull tab to pull this up and remove it from the packaging. And I've gone for the uh, sort of slate gray or black version. Very, very light. I didn't expect it to feel that light. Wow, that is a big phone. Really very cool. You can see the controls on the back there as well. We'll take a closer look at the actual smartphone in a short while. Let's take a look inside the bottom of the box to see what else we get. So we have got a quick start guide. We've also got the headset. This is going to be sort of standard earphones. We have also got the battery, which is a 3000 milliamp hour battery, 11.4 watt hour. So very, very good battery for this phone. Should get a full day out of that, no problem at all. And I'll let you know how that goes in my future videos. Then we've got the USB cable, micro USB on one end, full size USB on the other end. And then last but not least, we have got the charger, three pin UK plug on this side. And then of course, the USB socket on this end to plug that cable. So now let's get things set up and we'll take a closer look at the LG G3. So I've run through the setup procedure on the LG G3. Everything's up and running. I want to give you a guide around the hardware and also my first impressions. So this is obviously the front of the screen and this is the Quad HD display. I'll show you it in action very shortly. We've got the LG branding down the bottom here and then across the bottom edge we have got micro USB in the center, a little microphone, three and a half millimeter audio jack. Across the top edge, a secondary microphone and also what looks like an IR blaster. I haven't checked the details on that yet. Each of the sides is completely clear and that's because all of the controls are actually on the back of the G3. And I really love the back of this, a nice curvature to it. Very, very comfortable in the hand. And LG have gone with plastic, even though it looks like a sort of brushed metal finish. This is plastic and I think that was the right choice because it's kept the handset nice and light. Now down the bottom here, we've got a speaker. And again, I'll show you that in action very shortly. And then we've got some more LG branding. I would have liked this to have not been here. It's enough that it's on the front to put it on the back as well, or perhaps just on the back and not on the front. And then we've got these controls. So we've got the power on off switch and also the volume up and down. And then at the top, the 13 megapixel camera, dual LED flash. And then this is the laser focus to give you really snappy focus during taking photos and video. Very keen to check that out as well. Now the LG G3 incorporates this new knock code so we can knock on the screen to actually wake the device up. And there we go, you're seeing that quad HD display for the first time and it is pin sharp, very, very sharp indeed and really nice colors to it as well. LG have done a fantastic job with this 5.5 inch display. Now, performance isn't gonna be great at the moment because it's downloading a lot of apps from the restore process, but let's have a look in the app drawer. And these are the pre-installed apps as well as some that it's restoring as well from my account. And it's just really responsive, uh, nice, 
feel to the screen, really good smooth animations, can't see any dropped frames when transitioning between screens. Also these buttons here, or these touch sensitive icons, you can actually customise these to your own choosing, so that's really nice. So let's just pop into YouTube, I wanted you to experience the speakers, so let's just play back this video. Very, very nice screen. And as you saw there, really nice viewing angles as well. So this was my unboxing and first impressions of the LG G3. I'll be bringing you a future video looking at the user interface and also a 4K video sample test as well. Thanks very much for watching. Please do check out the links in the video description. Hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, there are two places you can find the subscribe button. On the main channel page, it's just up here in the top right hand corner. If you're on a video watch page, then you'll find it just underneath the video you've been watching. Click on the subscribe button and that means that you are now subscribed to the Geekanoids channel. But there is one more step you must take. Click on the little cog icon next to the subscribed button Put a tick in the send me updates box and click save. Job done. Thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you next time.